In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to use the interchange tools. First of all, I'm going to select a new template, my default television template. I'm going to set up a new project workspace. I give a name to the project, film number 25, for example, and a media location that I can change over here. And I put it all into my media drive. Now, my template is open. First of all, I can see in Pyramix version 7 that there are some new track headers on the left side. There's a new design, new features, the transport bar, many other things. And now I'm going to concentrate on the interchange tool. So project, import, and I'm now in the interchange tool. It means that I can import, export later on, different types of project from different other systems. For example, AEF, AS31, all the Kai formats, CMX EDLs, DAR projects, FileCut Pro XML, and OMF, among others. So I'm gonna select here AEF, and now on the right side, I have different types of options. First of all, create a new project. The second one, to which I will come in a second, that I will choose, replace the current project, append in the current project, or insert. Here I'm going to choose create a new project that shares the current project mixer, meaning at the same time I will have two projects so I can see how my AF will look like and use the same mixer, use the same outputs and copy things into my existing project, for example. The fade options keep as they are power linear and the video options having the edits as blocks and the medias in my VCube, for example, which I don't have now but I can have directly my MXF in my VQ. So I import. It will open now my new sub project and I will pick up my AEF, which can be embedded or non-embedded. Before opening it, I have a few options on which I will have to take care of. Because it's embedded, of course, I will have to extract the medias. So here I can choose how I will manage my embedded medias, extract them into the default media folder, or for example, into the subfolder to have tidy, different folders for different things that I will use in this very project. Which file format? Keep embedded if possible, but better use PMF or broadcast wave. I will in this case use PMF. In this case, if it's not embedded link to original media, then I have the fade options. I want, of course, to replace rendered fades by real time fades or cross fades and the curves and also convert to mute clips, for example, if it's a very low signal. Normalize if I wish, and then we go and open. Now it will extract all the content of media in this AEF into this subfolder. And first of all, I can see at the bottom here that I have my video clip and different clips. I don't know what it is. So by pressing 3, for example, over numpad, over my selection, I will listen what's in this very clip, or in this very clip, or in this very clip, and so on. So I can now find out exactly how my AEF is constructed. So I can hear on the top, it's certainly the direct sound or the ENG sound. And here, each time by pressing 3, it makes an auto solo. This is rather some atmosphere or ambience. Now I can make a cascade. So I have my both projects, one on the top of each other. So again, I share the same mixer with the two projects. Now I will copy and paste the original timecode, the different things I will need in my real project. So first of all, I will now select my first four tracks, because this is all the interviews that I need. Put it in the clipboard, go into my other projects, and now I'll select the first track, for example, because I have my eight first tracks on the top, which are dedicated to the interviews. Right-click, paste special, paste original timecode. And there we are. They're all here now. I go back to my import session, and now I want to take the rest which is like that. Again, I put it in my clipboard and I use now, for example, my AMB tracks here. Paste special, paste original timecode. Of course, I could apply a shortcut if I wish, but there we are. So now I have all my nice AEF ready, sorted to work with. Now the important thing on my right side, 
I have already some music folders mounted in here and some effects that I will start to add very quickly. For example, here I have a little song here that I want to add over there on my music tracks, make a little fade and another fade. Now I will take that one, I will bring it here. A nice feature, of course I can make it a bit bigger, for example, is to say I want to just keep that, edit, trim, and I just keep here. And underneath I can see whilst my clip is selected, my existing media. Now I can bring it up, holding control, I can join both together like this. And again, I will use this one, and again the same. So now all of that, control, right click, brings me the gain, so I can add or subtract some gain on it. So now I have my little music with my material all together. Now of course in the workflow of a TV program, the video editor has given this AEF to me, but he hasn't finished his job. So now, he will give me an EDL so that I can reconform all my existing material to his final work. So I will go to Project, Reconform, Load, Change EDL and Reconform. There's a warning, of course, telling me that it will change my timeline. I say OK. Now I go pick up the Reconform EDL that the video editor dropped into my folder. I say OK. Yes, I'm in Paul 25 frames. To which track I would like to apply all this reconforming to all of them. And I say OK. And now automatically my Pyramix made all the changes I can see here at the bottom, the different changes before and after the reconform. And I see my music has been cut, all the atmosphere and all the ENG has been cut. And now I'm ready to work again and to fine tune my fades, my crossfades, and so on. The interest now, of course, is that. I could mix everything through my mixer via a mix down, non real time or real time, or I could give it further to different people needing AF, AS31, older Kai, CMX EDLs, OMF, and so on.